Hi everyone, so I just wanted to come on here and do my next makeup update. Um, I know I just did one last week, but there has been a lot that came into my life this week and I'm actually a little bit embarrassed. I have it all laying out in front of me here and I am like, this is a little overwhelming and I can't believe I got myself to this spot because I keep talking about a makeup no buy. I keep talking about being a smart makeup consumer and I am not living it out. So, um... I guess that's a big reason why I do these videos is to keep myself accountable, is to um, put my story out there and then kind of bring you guys through my journey of trying to get it back under control. So first, let's go through um, places where I've been successful and and then we can kind of go from there. So I used up a few products this week. Um, I have a few skincare products and I'll um, also be replacing these. I have my sunscreen is nearly done. I know I featured this a few weeks ago. I think I'm about when I like hold up the light to this, I'm about, it has little markings on the side. I'm like, it says five milliliters. I'm like kind of around there. So I think within the next week or two, um, that I will have this used up. So I'm going to go ahead and choose something for my sunscreen, grab bag and find out what mix sunscreen I will be using. Let's use this one back here. So, oh, I have this one. Um, this is the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later uh, face primer. It has SPF in it. Um, so yeah, this is actually um, great. I really want to try like an SPF primer. I already use a little bit of this, as you can tell, but not actually not a ton. A lot of this was air. So, um, so yeah, so we'll see how much use I can get out of this in about two-ish weeks, and then I'll probably get sick of it and kind of reevaluate, or I might want to finish it. So we'll see. It does have 3% titanium dioxide, 3% zinc, zinc oxide. Um, so that should be just about the right amount of sunscreen that I need this time of year. It's rainy season here so I definitely won't feel like I'll need it every day but I should wear it every day so that'll be there and then um next I have my uh glow recipe watermelon glow pha and bha I actually have no idea what pha is um but anyways this is part of the birthday gift that came out this year for um Sephora I chose a glow recipe a little duo and um yeah this was good um i didn't think i would like the watermelon scent that much but i didn't mind it so i don't think i'd repurchase um but it's time to choose another toner i did really like the packaging i am a packaging junkie i do like the size of this for my vanity and for my bathroom i guess um and um and I would like to put whatever next toner I use in here. So let's go ahead and choose my toners. I don't have that many, so I actually left them unwrapped. One of them is huge, as you can tell. This is the Thayer's Milky Toner, Hydrating Milky Toner. I really want to get kind of a, kind of get some use underway on this one because I bought it ho having high hopes and I just never reached for it. I think because it's the bulky packaging. Um, I do have a sample in here and I also have a Sowasu toner in here too. I think for the sake of getting some use, I'm going to go ahead and put um, one fluid ounce in here because this, I think this is one fluid ounce. So if I can get one fluid ounce in here and use that up, I'll count that as my next use. So um, that will be what I will use next for my toner. I'll leave that out. The last thing I used um, up skincare wise is the serum. I talked about this last week um, and just wanted to let you guys know I finished it, started the new one. Um, yeah. All right, the next one here is, um, oh, I also wanted to talk about my primer, but I don't think I brought it out, which is fine. I kind of have a luminizing primer that I've been using, and um, it's like the e.l.f. one and the poreless putty luminizing primer. So um, I've been thinking about using a new one, but honestly, I just opened, since I just opened that sunscreen one, I guess I won't, I won't dip into my grab bag for that. I'll do that next time. Um, so we'll go from there. All right, two exciting ones. I did finish these. I emptied out the, the packaging, these components. Um, I've been learning from Lipstick Lesbians that these are called components and packaging is like the boxes that go outside. So like this, um, boxes that go outside. So anyways, this is the components. I've emptied two component, lipstick components of their product. I'll t explain a little bit about them. So this is the Tarte um, 
Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump, the one that came in the Sephora Lip Kit in the Holiday Collection this year. So I use it up pretty quickly, partially because um, this is a very, very emollient formula. I even dug it out, as you can tell. And um, I just really, really enjoy the feel of this. I like the minty, plumpy, not super extreme um, feeling. And um, I just kind of kept applying and reapplying. I really enjoyed this texture, almost like a lip primer underneath my um, lip pencils. And so that was really, really a good way to use this. And I was just reapplying all day, to be honest. Um, I even dug it out. But what I ended up doing was that... Um, this one, the Pat McGrath Divine Rose Mini here, um, the component is just made out of plastic. It's not like the metal um, that it's that the full size is, which is kind of disappointing. Um, anyways, this was actually a really, really bad shade for me, the way it was, or at least straight from the package, straight from the component is a terrible, terrible shade for me. Um, so I ended up trying to mix it with some samples, trying to mix it trying to but I think it's just the base of it is so opaque and almost like it's like the base of it is uh, just a white undertone like it wasn't glossy it was just like opaque and it was it's kind of difficult for me to use because that's not the type of product that I like using on my lips um so I ended up trying to mix these two together in just like a little sample jar and it kind of worked um alongside with some of like my darker lipstick samples and things like that it kind of worked I'm trying to work through it and see how far I can get through it um it's not my favorite like Franken lip product I've ever done and I'm not one to like hang on to stuff until the very bitter end so if I'm feeling sick of it if I've like had my run with it then I kind of just let it go so right now I'm still working through the Franken thing but for the sake of this component it is emptied. I actually dug it out and actually in addition to using it, trying to use it as a lip product, I actually really enjoy using lip products for blush. And so I did pop it into my um, palette here, which this is um, the, oh gosh, the Sleek. Sleek is, wow, so old. Um, I got this used. Um, I dug out the blush in here because I don't like the powder blush in here, um, but I put in the MAC glow play blush and so natural really really good shade by the way and then I actually also just mashed in that um lipstick and as you can tell it's actually lighter and so um, I actually like mixing the two together and um that's been a really good option for me lately so I enjoy that and um hope to continue using it that way um and talking about really enjoying the plumping sensation that this had um I actually hope to use this product a little bit more often. This is the L'Oreal Blue Mint Plump. This is their Color Reach Plump and Shine. This one also has a nice minty um, kind of feel to it. This one is, this is their blue one, uh, which I thought was super unique. And I really like having an option of some unique um, lip colors. Mainly, not so much to wear them on their own because this is, it's, it's, tints blue it's not this doesn't have this opaque blue but um for some of my warmer like lipstick shades this is a good option to have on hand because it both um kind of cools it down and also gives it shine so i like that um but yeah so i hope to bring this into my into kind of my regular rotation um especially when i'm looking for kind of that plumping minty feeling um that I have some in my collection. I don't need to go out and buy it. All right, moving on to, um, let's see, moving on to a new, another category. Um, I've never really talked about this before, but um, I am starting to designate some, they're pro purchasing products. One, it's coming up to Halloween. I have a, I have a toddler <laughs> and I really want to, and she actually enjoys doing makeup with me, which is super cute. Um, but I do want to give her kind of her own set of uh, makeup to play with and for me to play with it with her. And, um, you know, for Halloween, things like that, I can kind of use it on her and don't feel like she's messing with my collection. So building a makeup collection for my toddler. Uh, you guys are getting to hear about it first. So I did purchase a few things um, and that came in this past week for her and I wanted to specifically kind of pull those out to show you. Um, 
So I got some just eyeliners. There's pencil and two liquid ones. Um, and I got these all used, Poshmark and Glambot. I just posted a video about my Glambot experience. But uh, yeah, these are all brand new and uh, we'll see how long this lasts for or not. And, um, you know, play makeup, right? Like these are, we'll use them for what we what it's worth. And then I also um, got this from Poshmark. It's a, the Morphe palette. Um, that is, you know, their Mickey Mouse. I, I mainly got it for the packaging because um, because of Minnie and Mickey Mouse. Uh, my toddler loves loves little characters, so I thought this would be fitting for her. And honestly, the packaging, the the eyeshadow, the eyeshadows in here are pretty much a lot of them are untouched. Like you can still see the embossing on them. Um, and so, um, so yes, I, I'm hoping that she'll enjoy using these. I think I'll enjoy using these on her. Um, I just really wanted a nice wide array of colors to for us to kind of um, explore and, and kind of play with together. So um, truly for play, that's what this is for. So, and I have a few other products that I kind of am starting to put aside for her. Like if I have, you know, like, um, like a lip gloss or like a lip balm or something that I'm not really enjoying using for myself that's really sheer and, um, you know, that she can play with the texture but not so much be applying color on her face. I'm starting to put those aside for her um, to use. So that is that. Um, I did have a Mac order that came in. They recently had a sale and um, I just felt like I wanted to take part. I've been thinking about buying stuff for Mac for a while and um, is the deal was just a little bit too good for me to pass up. The deal will come back. I know that. Probably didn't need to. But I also had a 15% off coupon on top of the 15%, so that made it. Oh, and you know what we really s literally sold me on purchasing was the freebies. Just terrible, right? Buying stuff for the freebies. I don't know why I do it to myself. Um, anyways, and I was really bad too. I put in two separate orders to get two different freebies. Don't tell them, but that's... Like I said, I'm a deal hunter. I um, hack sometimes. Anyways, with one order, I got the um, brush cleanser. I love the MAC brush cleanser. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it before, it is pink. And it works really well. It works really, really well. It's I've been using a, like a solid um, cleanser right now, and it's good. But I want something for more spot, like daily cleansing. Um, and so I'm hoping that this will... I really, really enjoyed this. When I had it in the past. And then I think this one came with, um, I think it came with this sample. It doesn't matter to you guys. Um, Max just came out with a new line of lipsticks. They have um, a little sample pack. I want to try it. I will probably never buy this lipstick because it is a matte lipstick, 24 hour lipstick, and that is not my type of lip product. But I want to try it. So I got suckered in. And then um, I also claimed a 100 point perk, which I got the carbon eyeshadow, which is just like a matte black eyeshadow um, from them. And then I also picked up another single shadow in Honey Lust. Um, I really hope that this is the eyeshadow of my dreams. Don't we always wish that when we're purchasing stuff? But I've always really liked to mix my MAC All That Glitters and MAC Expensive Pink. And the, from the description, this sounded like a good in-between. So we will see if this is what I've been looking for. Um, yeah, I like my MAC, uh, my MAC eyeshadow collection, so I'm not mad about adding this. Um, and then I also got the Hyper Real Ceramizer uh, sample that they had. Four milliliters, not too bad for a sample. Um, I actually didn't even open it up to look what, what the component looks like. That's really cute. Even has a pump and everything. So hopefully I can get my money's worth out of that. Or no, this was the freebie. So I'll definitely get my money's worth. But in the sense that I'll actually enjoy it. Um, actually, funny enough, if they still have Back to Mac, the sample packaging has Back to Mac on it. I don't know if any store would have taken it, but... Anyways, back to Mac program is dead. Very sad. RIP. Um, all right, now we're on to the last batch of things that came into my life, which uh, I did not need to, but I did it. All right, first I'm going to show you a fistful of samples. Um, I featured some of these in my recent Glambot haul, so I'm not going to reiterate them, but, you know, just, just 
Got my full packets. Gonna just work through them. Um, where did this one come from? This one came in with my... Uh, oh, you know what? The Poshmark order. Um, she was nice enough to, to, to send me some extra stuff. So, this is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush, in case you guys were wondering. Just a few shades there. And then, um, let me see here. What else came in with the Poshmark order? I will share them with you now. I think these ones. Um, I got a brush. This is from the Rouge 2018. So she must have been, whoever my Poshmark seller was, she must have gotten Rouge in 2018. Um, but it seems like that she got a nice brush. This is the Pro Mini 55.5. Um, I thought this would be useful. Either that or for my toddler, like I mentioned before. Um, the main reason why I ordered from Poshmark was for this Rare Beauty um, lip, Dewy Lip Balm in the shade Compliment. It's the darkest one that they have. Um, it's like a really good neutral berry tone. Um, so again, adding to my berry collection, and I think using this blotted is a really, really good option for me. So I'll explore that more later. Um, she also included um, a sample of the Tasha um, overnight repair indigo overnight repair i like this pack i like this component um a lot and i expect that i will probably be reusing this for other creams so very cute not the classic purple that tasha has but um good shade nonetheless um whoever's picking shades for their components over in tasha is doing a good job um and then she also gave me this Dermalogica Daily Exfoliant, Microfoliant. So pop this in the shower probably and uh, use it alongside my um, face cleanser. All right, and then um, a few other things uh, that came in from my Glambot order. Again, I shared this, uh, just some lip balms, um, the NARS Afterglow Balm, and then uh, NARS Rakugi and NARS Dolce Vita. Um, and when I put Nars Rakugian back on my lips, I was like, I remember why I love this shade so much. Uh, I wish it just wasn't so expensive. And I'm glad I sorted on Glambot, but um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't think I would ever pay full price for it. Because when I first got it, I got it as a Sephora birthday gift. Um, I like it a lot. I like it a lot, but not enough to buy it. So we'll see once I run out of this, what I'll do about that. Um... And then I got Estee Lauder Little Black Primer, I got the Vitamin Rich Face Base, and um, these two were from like a grab bag, um, they just like a pop a few items from like, a, I think this is the eye category, um, into into the order, and uh, that's what I got there. So um, yeah, that's what has come, a lot has come into my life, I didn't even count how many, let's see here, this would be... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Um, eighteen to twenty products have come in, and that includes samples and whatnot. I'm not just just kind of rough count, but either way, it's a lot. Um, and I will probably put a good amount of them into my grab bag, shop my stash. Um, ones that are appropriate are in there and then for the lip stuff I'm realizing for lip products I really need all of that pretty much in front of me so that um, someone was explaining I think it was lipstick lesbian um, I, I need to learn her name I'm sorry but she's amazing um, she oh, goodness just check out this channel it's amazing I'll probably talk more about them later but basically in one video she was like you know you should um, lipstick is like a wardrobe maybe it was her maybe it was someone else I can't remember but um, someone made a point recently that I I watched someone make a point recently. That's what I'm trying to say. That uh, makeup or lipstick should be like a wardrobe um, where it's like whatever you're feeling you can put on. And so I feel like I am adding a lot to my lipstick wardrobe. But I do need it in front of me rather than in my, you know, like grab bag, shop my stash stuff. Um, because I need to see what's in front of me and then use it like that. So... Um, and I'm realizing for myself, I go in about like one week to two week spurts of wanting like a certain lip, like certain lip look, and then I want to transition out. So, um, so having everything in front of me really helps because it helps me 
experiment, helps me go through things, helps me um, see the progress on certain things. But for me, that's what works. So anyways, um, yeah, I really am hoping that I, oh, I keep saying it every week. I need to start my no buy now. <laughs> But, um, I think I have, I know, I definitely know I have one more thing ordered and it's coming in. Um, and then for November, I have a freebie that I need to pick up for my birthday. And so hopefully that's the last thing that will come in. So maybe I'll update you guys in November, uh, once I have that and then kind of go from there. So anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this little makeup date. A lot of stuff, some things out, a lot of things in. Um, but either way, still working through things and I should be happy about that. So anyways, I'll see y'all in my next video and have a wonderful day.